Hope you're doing well. My name is Jay and today I'm using V0 by Vercel to convert a Figma file to code. It can be HTML, it can be React, a specific framework. Let's test it out and see if that works. So this is V0. This is what you see when you go to the homepage. And as you can see, um, there is a chatbot, so you can just chat with it. But there is a very specific icon here. And it's a Figma icon. It says import Figma. And that's what we want to do. Now, before we even go here and use it, I want to go to my Figma app. So let's go and open it right here. And as you can see, I have a very simple landing page that I just created randomly. It's a, kind of like a book landing page. And then there's a form here. And as you can see, there is nothing specific in the layers. It's just all the shapes. There's nothing named or grouped, there is no components. So there is nothing very specific here. Everything is kind of like random and not a lot of specification. So I just wanted to just throw something there, give it to the AI and see if it can actually convert this page to code. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing I'm gonna do is go to share and then I'm gonna copy the link of this design and then I'm gonna go back to V0 and I'm gonna click on the import Figma and you need to put the URL. So when you put the URL here, if you don't see this, it's gonna ask you to authenticate Figma because if you have private projects, it's not gonna let you import that. So they're gonna ask you to authenticate, that way you give permission to access your Figma files, okay? So I'm gonna put the URL right there and I'm gonna click next. And as you can see, they give you a preview. This is the design, yes. And you know, they detect some colors, which is great. And uh, you click confirm. And now you have the Figma file attached right here and you can ask any questions. So for example, you can say, I want a HTML static or I want a React or Next.js or whatever you want. You know what? I am not gonna say anything. I'm just going to send this file and see what happens. So let's go ahead and press enter here. And now V0 is kind of thinking and doing his thing. And let's see what happens. And as you can see here, it seems like it's using um, React and Next.js. And I noticed that because when I go here to this uh, component right here, uh, next image and all that, it seems like it's using TypeScript, which is great. And here we go. We already have a preview. Um, let's hover. So it seems like there is the navigation right here and you can hover it. There's the button, all the text is here. There is a form. So it's pretty smart because I, didn't added any information about what is this or uh, the layers in the Figma file didn't have any names or anything like that, right? Um, it's adding some CSS uh, and you can see in the code tab, so they have a preview code and console, which is pretty cool. The components folder, you can see the nav bar is, a, is an actual navigation with links. Um, there's a request form, which is the section that is right there, and then the page. So one thing that I want to do, instead of me going here and changing stuff, I just want to chat with the bot and start making changes. Because one thing that I noticed, for example, is that there is no kind of like specific container here. So this has a container and then this has another, which is a little bit smaller, it seems like. Um, so let's go ahead and change that. One thing that I can do is there is a cursor icon here that it says select. I'm going to click there and maybe I can go here and say, um, let me see if I can select this and I can put this like add a container of I don't know, 960 pixels, let's say. Um, you know what? Add the form inside 
a container. Mm, I think that's fine. So let's see what happens. So I selected that specific section of the page and now it's working on that, which I like it instead of just randomly saying something in the, in the chat bot, in the box of chatting. And there you go. So that's a little bit better, right? So this, it seems like this is now 960 pixels. Of course, I can check the code and kind of like take a look, but I want to just keep chatting here. I want to do the same here. So let's see if we can do that. Add this in side a container that is 960 pixels. Let's see if that works. And now it's doing kind of the same thing. So let's see if it's actually smart enough to just do it again, but in a different section. Cool thing is that it actually goes, there you go. That's perfect. I love it. So we actually have the each section in a container. And then after this is done, I can go to the code and just take a look how it's done. And you can see in the CSS, there is a, uh, 960 pixel max with CSS class, which is, that's what I wanted to do. Um, and then if we go to request form, it's kind of the same thing. So you can see the class right here. So it did what I wanted. And I can see that it has some kind of versioning controls. So you can see that it changes something so you can actually go back, which is very, very cool. So let's say that I'm really happy with that. It actually, everything converted how I want it. Um, it seems like it's, uh, it's a Next.js app. Now keep in mind that this form is not gonna work. I need to go to the code and add more functionality or I can do it with the AI and maybe add more functionality and maybe you're using an API, you can connect an API, but this is actually very good. Um, of course, I need to replace the logo and the, the book with an image and all that, link uh, this to the correct uh, pages or maybe a correct section. But let's say that I am happy with that and I would just want to deploy this and share this with anyone. I can just click deploy. It's gonna say deploy to Vercel. And it says, add your chat to a project to deploy. So let's go ahead and add a project. You can see, you can see a list of your project. I only have one. I'm gonna do new project. Let's call it my book, create. And now I'm gonna click deploy again. And it says confirm and deploy because we have a project now called my book, confirm and deploy. And if you don't see the confirm and deploy, that means that you need to, you need to authenticate with Vercel. So it's just going to be the process of you logging into Vercel, giving permissions that way Vercel can have access to it and you can actually deploy from V0. Okay. And that's it. It can take the deployment can take, uh, you know, 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, depending on, um, the complexity and, and how many things you have in your project, but you can see that it actually deployed they give you a domain, but of course you can set up your own domain if you want to. So I can go in here and visit the site and here it is. This is what I created in just minutes. And I can right now copy this URL and share it with the world with anyone. It, this can be a, maybe a concept of something that you want to create and you want to show another developer or maybe another person that is working with you and say, Hey, I just converted something to code. Take a look. Let me know if you like it. Let's modify it. If you don't, blah, blah, blah. Perfect. It just took you maybe five minutes, 10 minutes, and that's it. You have something that you can start working on. And that's it. That's how easy you can convert a Figma file to code using V0. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.